Have you noticed, though, there is the same type of Rust Belt phenomenon in Manchester? The thing is impossible. You know you can buy a house for a thousand pounds and get one free. They just couldn't move them. Nobody out here. I You have to put a lot of money in to make it habitable. Yes. Yes. It's the most comical thing I've ever done. And we laugh. We laugh. We the way to put it in. But it's always the same. Yes, it's like the funny story we have heard too often. We still find it funny. We don't laugh anymore. Would there be government regulation? You know what I mean? Is it thing or such? Yeah. Yeah. But these places were habitable. They no, they wouldn't have been. Because they would have been already been sorted out. There were big improvement rounds that came along in the 70s and 80s. Right. But even, I mean, we used to live in a similar place over the border from Reading. And when I sold my mother's house, it had already been renovated with government money. That went for 20,000 pounds. 22,000 pounds. Um, It's just this, as I say, this rust belt phenomenon. All of the industrial jobs just disappeared. Um, I wouldn't encourage anyone to live there for any reasons. But when you look back, you think, I'll remember everything. That was a gold mine. Could have bought three dozen of them. Back then, my grandfather, when he bought the house I was born in. That's an interesting story. You know, exactly like your grandparents. He bought the house at the time. Just before he was married, I think. And then, it was deep, deep. And you could see to the bottom. So white, so clean. Because he was an engineer. A lot of people were in that area. And I think he got quite well compensated. So because the house deal was going through, the agent selling them said to John Slaney, Grandfather, do you want to buy the lot? I can sell you the whole row for, well, you know, next to nothing. But if you have compensation, he didn't end up doing it. But that house, as humble as it was, was bought in 1899, and I sold it in 2001. It was one of only 8,000 homes, much of which were castles, continuously open across three centuries. In the UK? Make sure you never get taken in by lazy work in yeah. your trunks. Yeah, in the UK. 8,000? Wow, that's pretty cool. Yep, I thought it was cool. At your age, they fried me. But, you Whom did you call when you were a tiny boy, frightened in the dark? Your mother? No. Me. We let you cry. Then we moved you out of your shot, so that we might sleep in peace. I was asleep, as happy as a king, and you woke me up to have me listen to you. It wasn't indispensable. You didn't really need to have me listen to you. Yeah! We have to talk. Good thing you came by. 
I think, I think it, in the 60s, I think Brendan. People used to worship the dead. When you met him, he lived there. Or not? I met him when we were 11 in secondary school. But, um, yeah, the city does go that far back. How easy it is, they said to me. That's friendship. Yes, yes. No question you found it. They said to me, here's the place. Stop. Raise your head and look at all the beauty. That old. They said to me, come now. You're not the brute beast. Think about, think upon these things, and you'll see all becomes clear and simple. They said to me, "What skilled detention they get? All these dying of their wounds. It's a nice little area, isn't it? As Englishmen, needing a pair of striped trousers in a hurry for the New Year's festivities." Goes to his tail and makes his measurements. Yeah, from what I remember, definitely. We can buy it. You must learn to suffer better than that if you want them to worry of the punishing you. Quite. Yeah. yeah. The only tavern you have around there is the bull's head. Then one day, suddenly it ends. It changes. I don't understand. It dies. Oh, it's me. I don't understand that either. The words that remain. Sleeping. Walking. Morning. Evening. They have nothing to say. I think it was actually closed by the time I was there. A little poetry. Yeah, it could have been. It's too soon on the top of your tonic. It won't enact. People always used to say the bull's head was okay. But then it jumped to sea. But really, it was never okay. Never, ever. The priest says the dead are in heaven. I won't argue. Do you spend a lot of time there, though? Since when are you afraid you'll melt in the rain? Your dad used to work there. The rain. I didn't know that. You don't scare him. You're too afraid of him. He used to have some kind of weird job. And he actually was quite a bit dedicated. He was a serving boy in the billiard room. They had a proper billiard room, which was very, very popular. You know, quite a few guys worked there, and they all had these weird kind of stories about it. It was being done up, and they worked there, so you'd think they know there. And your dad had told me it was being turned into a restaurant bar. I mean, what's a western bar? Somebody would say it's going to be a music venue. And, uh, anyway. You know, anytime they opened after a little work, it was always the same. Just with a bit of paintwork done. Furiously at first. Then slower. Then they stopped. Yep, pretty crazy. Time. Something about the anticipation made it fun? He was drunk. Yeah. yeah. Take, it. Take it. But at a certain point, it, it became obvious. Yeah. 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 Have you ever met Jack? Jack. Yes, yes, briefly. Just like large growth. I believe so, at least. What all is in a word? Is that moment you want to know? Just a moment? When was that, anyway? I couldn't even say. When would we... When would he have come to Chicago? Yeah, I don't know. I had some group dinner when I was very young. I know the name, but... 
because he used to know your mom's boss, because he was a dermatologist. So he's not been over the last steps. Since you were there, I feel sick. No, he opened his wide eyes. Um, really? How? Oh, you didn't use the words. I think he'd come to conferences to get various American advice. Oh, he was involved in the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At six, At six, I just six, left, left before, before the others. The others. Okay, okay, okay. Don't think you'll get off lightly. So... But yeah, but yeah. he got he over got to your place quite a lot. a lot. The last time he was there, you could have been born. Remember your dog? Oh, Barney? I may have promised yesterday. Barney. I don't remember him, but I've got stories. What were... Oh, you and Barney were coexisting. Oh, for a very brief period of time. Well, he needed to get the train. I think you were one. And um, he was supposed to be looking out for Barney. Making sure Barney was cared. And he wasn't good like that. I once knew a madman who thought the end of the world is coming. He was a painter, an engraver. I had a great fondness for him. I used to go and see him in the asylum. I take him by the hand and drag him to the window. Look, there, all that rising corn. And there, look, the sails of the herring fleet. All that loveliness. Yeah? And Barney ran off. Someone like that can never control them from what I heard. One day you'll be blind like me. You'll be sitting here, a speck in the void, in the dark, forever, like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was pretty wild. But anyway, Jack, because he had to get on his flight, just had to ring your mom to say Barney is in the park and I've got to go. Well, your mom came from work to try to track down Barney. But John is otherwise a good guy. Yeah, 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 of course. I know my dad probably was in Manchester in like 2005. Yeah, he'd have been in Manchester. Yeah. Your mom's got all his details still. If you'd still like to talk to him. Naturally. Yeah. Naturally. Well, should we start making our way back? We'll find a fishing ship. I mean, it's not necessary. Only if you. It's not necessary. Infinite emptiness will be all around you. All the rest of you. It's fun though. Would you like to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I would. Shall we? Yeah, let's, let's go.
really looking forward to the chips. I love it. In the pan. Great, great. I know a place just over here. Coco, 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 that's it. It's on the case. No, no, get out of here. Okay, we got some more songs. Coco, Coco, please, just Coco. There's man, fifty years. Fifty years. No, no. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck yeah. them all, fuck them all. Arsenal, 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 There was everyone from out and out derelicts to journalists who fled South Africa because of being anti-apartheid, couldn't get properly qualified or ticketed there, to just downright Brightonians who were just like from road sweeping families. It fascinated me, but it fascinated your dad more, I think. Yeah, no, I think I, yeah. It's definitely something that I realized, huh? and it's definitely something I can relate to personally. And that, I think, I feel, honestly, I feel a very strong connection with him through exactly that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I feel the same, whatever the word you want to use. Passion, Passion or interest, or interest. that he is. He loved. He loved dialogue. Listening to the quirks of what people were saying. No. Excuse me. Excuse me. I think. Honestly, yeah. I mean, that's that's. It's great to hear you say that. It's something that is very hard to articulate, but I think I do have a strong sense that it is related. Yeah, yeah. Just like, like countless relationships with people like that over time. I think a lot of it has to do with just an interest in walking, you know? He walked so much. I love to walk. He would walk like ridiculous distances. He would rock from A to B. It'd be like, why don't you take the train? Right. And I think those two things are totally related. 
Rakið pínra nindi saman ef ég vak. Já, 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 I know, you're right. It might have started driving, but I don't like it too much. I don't like to drive it. It's terrifying. I don't remember when I ever did. Yeah, I mean, at times I get something from it, but in general, it just seems really stressful. I really considered, like, what could go wrong? Yeah, 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 no, I don't like driving. It seems pretty tough here. People are pretty aggressive. Exactly right, Alex. It just varies. We're very calm and blue collar. There's no traffic lights. No traffic. Oh no. Some of the conditions here are just dreadful. Like Hyde Park Corner is the place where there's a roundabout. Obviously on the corner of Hyde Park. There's a Hyde Park in Chicago, isn't there? Yeah. That's actually where the university is. Oh, right. Okay. University of Chicago. But anyway, this roundabout, I think it's got like six exits and they're all four lanes. Coming on and coming off. And it's just like, how could you even think of going in there? But once you're in it, there's nothing you can do but be aggressive. Yeah. 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 Get the jump on the next car, you know? And it just drives your mind into this paranoia. Kill or be killed kind of a thing. Yeah, totally. And you can imagine that on bicycles. You were saying this morning. Sorry? Imagine doing that on a bicycle. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. People get run over by trucks, you know, because the trucks can't see them. Yeah, 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 it happened. Yeah, I was biking a lot in Chicago. It was pretty friendly, but well, it's really smooth. And I know they have in Northern Europe a lot. And they started to do this in Chicago. They have the bike plane on the other side of the park corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they used to run. Your dad. Your dad. Yeah. Yeah. He used to do 10Ks, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I remember when he was doing those 10Ks. He was really proud of that. He definitely. He was all right at that. I did that as well. Definitely haven't recently. I'd like to get back into it. It's good just to keep your hand in, isn't it? You know, it doesn't need to be competitive. Oh, yeah, definitely. I did nothing for a long while. Then I kind of dragged into a charity sponsored bike around the village, Alex. It's very heavy. And this is about 45 miles. And I did the first one in 2012. This is going to kill me. So I just had to get pretty fit to do it. And then I did another one last September. But you do. It just feels so much better, don't you? For a while, when you're reasonably fit. No, it's true. Oh. Yeah, it's important. It's such a real thing in terms of, like, I don't know, alcoholism, like, exercise. Oh, fabulous, thank you, thank you, this looks beautiful. You mean keeping it at bay, or? Yeah, I think even one of my dad's friends, he probably met this close neighbor. He 
Does your mom see anything of Sherry? She used to work with. Sherry? Sherry. Blackberry. Used to work at Pinsky with your mom. All of this food is extremely hot. Do you drink tea every night? Right, so, Peter, I do drink tea every single night, but we're dreadful. We're so kind of foggyish right now. You're what? Excuse me? We're dreadful, me and Maureen. How so? We get to the point of being so foggy that after a certain time of night we'll only drink lemon and ginger as opposed to tea, tea. You know, like people avoid coffee or what have you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I never thought I'd get to the point of avoiding tea, but... For what? Related to caffeine? Yeah, I see. The benefit is, to be honest, if you take lemon and ginger to bed and you wake up in the middle of the night, you can drink that. It's quite palatable, whereas cold tea is not real. Not English cold tea with milk in it. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. 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 And have you had these before? Oh, yeah. There's a famous uh, story, totally untrue, about Peter Manderson, who was one of the grandees of the Labour Party, maybe 20 years ago. Have you come across a, a guy called Manderson ever? Have you heard of him by reputation? No, afraid not. Very metropolitan, pompous, uh, unusually well-educated, grandee of the Labour Party. And the joke is that he's in, I think, his own constituency, which is really working class, but you know, he has nothing to do with the people. Um, and that was reported in the press, that they just made up to try to get him. He was in a fish and chip shop, and he saw some mushy peas on the side and pointed to them and said to the company, Well, you're very good, sir. Can you give me a helping of that guacamole? if you don't mind. And that kind of stuck with it for five years, even though it was like a total fabrication. I don't get it. How? Would you like to? And it's like obviously the press? It seems like so hard to believe. Like guacamole? Like something Mexican? Crazy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. Exactly that. Right. It's, it's so lazy. E equally hard to believe. Why is he in a fish and chip shop? He never eats fish and chips. 
certainly not out of the picture. He's just doing this to lie to people. So they just embroidered a bit of a story, a bit of a Rock and Morty story. Sure. That's what I want. Can you still find places to serve it in the paper? Yeah, it's a, it's quite a big deal. It's just like seen as a way to do it. Take them. Yeah, yeah, but it's specific to fish and chips. Yeah, yeah, good point, good it, point. Is. it is. That's interesting. So what you were saying earlier? Yeah. yeah, so they're like an oil or a gas burner. Because they're, they're, they're mounted literally like an 18th like century burner. Oil comes oil in, comes in heats all the iron, iron, which it's made of. Made of. And there are other there compartments, are compartments, simmering, simmering compartments. compartments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two circular yeah. lids that sit on top of the hot plate if it rings a bell. The only the thing only going thing for it. it. I hate the thing. Um, but my wife likes it. It kind of suits the property because it's old world. Um, but it's inefficient, uneconomic. You know, nothing going for it. They're pretty expensive here, but in the U.S., they're crazy. Because they're made, because they're here, made here, and they're only they're ever only shipped. Ever shipped. Because, it's because it's cast iron, iron. you know, the fish no, the shipping fees alone, alone will be like be thousands, thousands of dollars. dollars. And they have and they experts have to put them in them and fit them. them. Right. right. So, I so I mentioned something about this agar going in, and Mary Ellen, Ellen kind of jumped at it, because she's really kind of an inquisitive girl. Excuse Oh, me. What, Dominic? What, you've got an agar? And then Brendan, then Brendan was playing off that I was, that I was kind of minor royalty, royalty. And I was related, was related to Lady Sarah, Sarah Ferguson. Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> it was spun out of control. But no, she's a nice girl. Like six or seven of them. And she's one of them. I like them all. They're fun. They really, they really are. Yeah, yeah she, was she was good. I went to a wedding recently of one of these yeah. French sons, and I caught up with her. That was good. And is she married? No, no. single. Because that was that another was thing. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. They were always they were trying to get Ash with, who I mentioned before. Off with Marianne. Yeah. yeah. No. I think she's a classic bachelorette. Because she's been no chicken by now. Marianne's got to be 50, isn't she? I think she's quite. I think. Like 50s, 60s. Exactly. So that ship has sailed, as they say. I don't know. Exactly right. But you never know. I mean, she's yeah. I think. Unfortunately, with all the housing crisis, she was struggling. I mean, just as far as money. Yeah. 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 But her loft is really cool. Did you see it? Yeah. 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 I was really impressed with it. I like it. She still lives there. Oh, good. Well, next time you see her, say hi from Dominic. And he's still got his agar. I definitely will. I hope to see her soon.
Because I should know. Because I was there. Forget the 2000 thing. You didn't get baptized that month. You were baptized well after? Yeah, I think so. A couple months. And that's where that would have happened. Yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure I was a little devil for a couple months. You were there then. That's amazing. Well, I was over. Don't be at all. No, I mean, I'm glad to know I'm very well. It's a great story in itself. I was over on work. They used to come down in Atlanta. I'd come up to Chicago on a Friday. Um, and then nothing was said to me. Because um, your dad was supposed to be asking me. We had a really good weekend. We were going we were out Saturday nights or something. <laughs> and then people started heading to the house and I said, Oh nuts, I got to push off to the airport. What, John? Hasn't Brendan not said anything to you? No. What about? Alex is christening. You're the godfather. I said he hadn't said anything. Oh yeah. Could you do that to help me out, bro? <laughs> so I had to phone up the airlines to get on a later flight. I'm a godfather. Pretty amazing. It was a really nice day as well. Really. In every way. Really nice weather. The people were all nice. Uh, good. Now I see what it is. Yes, now I understand what the rats are. 